Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kendall Jarbo. Three of Duluth's fire stations are currently understaffed and now with the department being asked to make budget cuts, another could soon be as well. Northern News Now's Rob Coles heard from leaders with the fire department about the help that's needed. Duluth Fire Chief Sean Croger has been fighting fires for close to 30 years, but lately he's also had to fight for funding. We're still constantly battling budget issues, budget crisis. According to Croger, when money is tight, work hours start to get cut. A lot of times the only places we can cut is personnel. But funding made available through the Assistance to Firefighters grant programs could help address staffing shortages, training, and other issues facing fire departments. The grant focused on personnel is called the SAFER grant. So that, that SAFER grant is really vital for us to uh, try to actually get up to that safe staffing. While SAFER grant money won't impact immediate staffing needs, it could prevent an even worse situation in the future. We have a submission uh, right there for 15 additional firefighters, which would get all of our rigs up to that fully staffed uh, four person per day per company. While that could help down the road, the Duluth Fire Department learned this week they may have less money to work with for the remainder of the year. According to an internal memo Northern News now obtained from the local firefighters union, as of April 5th, the city is asking the fire department to cut another $72,000 from its budget. Adam Casillas is president of IAFF Local 101, the union that represents firefighters in Duluth. He explained what he says the impact of those cuts could be. The two big points on there are we won't be staffing special events and then that we um, are going to be cutting our daily staffing limit from 36 to 35. He says that would make half the fire districts in Duluth below safe staffing levels, which requires four people working on each fire truck during an emergency. Right now, we have three fire districts where if we respond as first in to a fire, um, we can't go in. We have to sit at the boulevard and watch the house burn until a second incoming engine arrives. Casillas is hoping the mayor and the city council find money somewhere in the budget to make up for this new shortfall. In Duluth, Rob Coles, Northern News Now. And according to the memo we obtained today, the budget reductions are necessary after the city council reduced Mayor Emily Larson's proposed budget by $380,000, a move the council made to lower the burden on taxpayers. But that also means each department across the city was asked to cut their budget by nearly 0.36%. We reached out to Mayor Larson and city council leaders for a statement today, but did not hear back. In the midst of this, Senator Amy Klobuchar made a stop in Duluth today to raise awareness about that safe for Grant mentioned in the story you just watched. She also talked about other funding available to help make firefighting safer. Klobuchar says using federal grants to help local fire departments is an option many communities are exploring. It really helps to supplement the local funding and the grants come right from the federal government uh, right to the local departments and uh, we also have had a number of cities apply from across the state. In addition to raising awareness for grants for current workers, she's also working on legislation to address long-term health problems impacting firefighters long after they've served their community. 